do my video with my hair down today because I washed it last night so it's really soft and mmm. So, today's video, my poster just fell down. Today's video is going to be a bit weird because what I've been asked to do is very hard to actually do and make a lot of content out of it. So I'm sort of going to do two-ish things. So first things first, I'm going to do what I was actually asked to do, which was what would I do if I was a banana for a day? I hope you're happy, Hannah, for making me do this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Hannah is someone on Twitter. Uh, uh, her name is the Marshmallow King. Uh, the Marshmallow King. I'll put a link in the description to her uh, Twitter. Go and go follow her. She's quite she's quite amazing. She puts out some random stuff and gets you to ask her a lot of questions because I'm guessing she gets very bored. Otherwise, she wouldn't be talking to me. Let's be honest. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ramble on for a bit I'm going to ramble on for a bit about random stuff and show you some really weird old, not weird but just old thing that I managed to get working. So first things first what would I do if I was a banana for a day? I would do one of three things I would either be eaten just pff, pff, oh, banana. be blended into a smoothie or most likely with the, with the world of today sit in a fruit bowl and rot because that's all anyone really does with bananas no one really eats fruit do they they just buy it because it looks good and then put it in a fruit bowl because then people go oh they eat fruit they're fresh Ooh. in actual fact the fruit just sits there and rots and you know you never actually eat it so that's what I'd do if I was a banana for a day. I'm very sorry that that was such a short little smidget, Hannah. But what am I supposed to do? Just because my friend Sammy hates them, I'm going to put a duck on the screen, because she doesn't like ducks, and a Dalek on a key ring with a key. Funny that, isn't it? Key ring with a key on it. So, weird and wonderful, I'm going to show you now two very, very old pieces of equipment. Uh, so the first is the second generation iPod Nano. This is unbelievably old. It's not very good. It doesn't hold a charge anymore. But if I plug the uh, plug in the speaker, um, I will play a bit of music. I am obviously going to be playing music that is copyright free and therefore can be used in videos. So I'm going to be using Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. Because I can play that without getting in trouble for copyright issues and stuff. So, like I said, it's a bit temperamental. It does sometimes work. I just need to... Okay, so that one's frozen. Like I said, very old. Very, very old iPod. Um, but not as old as the other one I'm about to show you. Right, I'm going to restart that one. We'll come back to that one. The next one I only got working today. That is... I believe I put uh, their first attempt. That's the <coughs> iPod Mini. Um, this is one of my favourite iPods because you know it's old but reliable and it's actually relatively good. I'll just go a bit further into the song because it's quite a short song. I mean, it's quite a long song and it's a very quiet one as well. Let's move into a bit more. you can hear this um, so yeah that is the iPod mini um, it's good iPod it's very very basic uh, there's actually there is actually a backlight to this um, it's not that bad uh, but the problem is it drains the battery like how I mean this thing doesn't really hold a charge anymore look at the bottom 
it's all it's all scuppered and a bit old. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, let's have a look. It has a, it has a six gigabyte capacity, which is quite good for an old iPod, but it is huge. Um, it's formatted for Windows because it's a, I use it on a Windows screen. Its version of software is iOS one point four point one. Isn't that adorable? It's so uncandomly old. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I like to use that from time to time because it is old, and I do like to use old er things every now and then. Now this other iPod's restarted now, so we'll use this one. I've just realised how very quiet the song I tried to play is. Um, but there isn't really anything else I can use because nothing else copyright uh, has no copyright. So same song, different iPod. This is the Nano one though. I'm going to do it in a bit again. So as you can hear, it is still working. This one does have the automatic. It will turn its uh, screen off after a certain amount of time. Um, the other thing I like about this one is it's very light and it's very small. And can I just compare the size, right? They're the same length, roughly. The blue one's blue one's a bit longer, but look at the size difference. One of them is this massive, fat lump of brick-like thing, and the other one is so very small, it's adorable. The other thing I'd like to show, because it's just hilarious, is a tape. I found this tape a couple of days ago. That's the camcorder. That it that reads it. Let's see if this has still got power, shall we? Oh, it's got power. Oh, it's got power. Has it got tape in it? Oh, it's got tape. Let's find out what's on it. I don't know what's on it. I'm intrigued. All right, my he's going to hate me for this, but this. I don't know how well you can see that. That's my little brother when he was really little. It wasn't that long ago though, because I was playing on an Xbox uh, 360, but it was still a white one. But yeah, so that's a bit of old old tech. Uh, the other thing I've got <laughs> that I, uh, I I wanted to show off. This isn't actually old. This is what I was using to play the music. Um, it is literally just. A, a Lego brick speaker. These two bits here are the, the louder and quieter button, and it just uses the standard iPod jack thing. It'll only work with the ones with the original jacks. It won't work with like the iPhone or anything because it doesn't have the the right connector piece, unless you've got an adapter, of course. Um, and I got that at the Science Museum for about two pound fifty, I think, a couple of years ago. So I managed to stretch this video out quite a bit. Um, I don't really think I need to show anything else. Um, be be sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you obviously if you liked the video, like it. I mean, like it anyway. You know, just just like the video. You know, I don't care if you hate it. Just like it. No, I'm I'm joking. You you do what you like. Um, yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description to uh, the Marshmallow King, and I'll also put a link in the description to my Twitter page. When I say that, I'm going to put my at address so you can search for me yourselves. Um, also, there was something else. And then, um, if you've got any ideas for videos, uh, I did say this in the last video, but I got it wrong. Um, you can send me emails of what you think I should do at jtbusinessinquiries at outlook.com or you can DM me on my Twitter or comment in the YouTube section thing. And yeah, I reckon I'm done for today. Um, also, obviously this is the Sunday video. It's actually lying to you. Because I'm recording this on Friday the 21st. So it wasn't, you know, it's not actually the Sunday video. 
because I don't have time on Sunday. I'm going to Somerset at the weekend, so I'm not going to have time to actually film it. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go and edit this now, and I will <coughs> be sure to make sure I'm here on 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 Thursday. Obviously, you've got any ideas for what I should do on Thursday? You just let me know, and. If you want to, Marshmallow King, you can. Because, quite frankly, some of your ideas are hilarious. Um, if you didn't already see it, I'll put a annotation and a link to the description. The other video uh, before the How to Be... Uh, the, what Would I Do If I Was Invisible one, she also told me to do a video about leaves. I'll put a link to that in the description as well, because that's quite amusing. And, yeah. Catch you later. <laughs>